What is up, guys? We are back with some more Pokemon Sword. Oh, snap. Don't want to fight you. And we're about to make our way to Hammerlock City or town, whichever one it was. Um, I haven't even checked out this other area yet, but plus to be more Pokemon over here. Kind of seem like they're the same ones around the rest of the way. Yeah, they all look like bunnelbees. Let's check some tree and get some berries. I think like the further you get in the game, like the better the berries are. Something like that. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stunkies there. Oh, it's a scum tank. Oh wow, we got a thunderstone. Well, now you know where to get a thunderstone if you're watching my video. <laughs> if you are like a Pikachu fan and want to evolve your Pikachu, there you go. But we're going to cross that bridge over there and get back onto our journey. Oh yeah, one one new thing is that um, Aracuda evolved at level 26. So I went around catching, wow, Snorlax at the end of the bridge, wow. Oh, they got a Drapion. I don't have enough Pokeballs, to be honest. I need to go buy some, I need to buy Great Balls, actually, because the Pokeballs just aren't cutting it. At least not for now. Maybe when, uh... I'm like more OP in my level. Yeah, just wanted to collect those citrus berries. Those yampers, yeah. Oh, snap, almost ran into that. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm just like looking. Oh, snap, Corviknight popped up. They're doing a great job of just like catching me off guard. I know I'm not at all like ready for any of the Pokemon I see popping up. Whoa, that was a ride on. I don't think I'm ready for a ride on, but that was pretty cool. Well, now I know where to kind of go for certain Pokemon. I'm trying to like let you guys see everything that's over here. But I see a house over here on the right. that I do want to check out. Oh, what do you guys have? Sure. Dawnstone, huh? This is actually pretty clutch. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see what else I can get. <laughs> Rare bone, okay. Comet shard. Fossilized drake. No lie, that's convenient. One digs up, um, digs up, like, evolution stones. And the rare bone, yeah, I can sell that. The other one, I got, um, I got a fossil, I think. Yeah, the fossilized drake. I can't remember which, uh, one that's supposed to be.
Oh, that's it. I should do more raid battles. I don't know why I don't. Pokemon I don't want. <laughs> well, let's check out what's in this area. I'm trying to talk to you, man. The Rotom Rally. Improve my bike. Ah, that's the point of doing more raid battles so you can upgrade your bike too. Uh, oh yeah guys, I caught a shift tree and a dust bowl purloin as well. And this is uh, the Barascuta. This is what Aracuda um, evolved into. But I'm gonna just put you in daycare. And then I'm gonna put that weird me out because this is actually a steel type and his evolution is actually different from a regular me out. It becomes like a whole different Pokemon altogether. Whole different name too. Oh snap. It's that elephant I want. Q fan? Probably was not the best Pokemon to put out. So what we'll do instead, I'll send Dreadnought out for this fight. Ooh. Okay. Now it seems like that was a horrible idea. That means this. Ooh! Ah, oh, he knows bulldogs too? Yeah, we're using the next Pokemon. I think it's been a minute since we've seen Blackie in action. As you guys can see, I'm running out of Pokeballs. <laughs> I was kind of going on like a catching rampage. But a lot of it was used up on um, the shift tree and the dust goal. For some reason, I didn't want to get caught. I say for some reason, like they're not wild Pokemon. It digs up the ground with its trunk. It's also very strong, being able to carry loads of over five tons without any problem. Wow, and it's a steel type. We don't want a Wobbuffet. I'm thinking I should just revive uh, Dreadnought. And I added H Hatena on the team just because um, I wanted to have a Psychic on the team. And I don't think Toxel really can do anything until he evolves. He hasn't really learned any any new moves since since I got him. I like how this just expands for the wild area, so you have a lot of variety for what you want. Other than those grass Pokemon, because screw them. Rhyhorn. A Rhydon, I mean. Tripatoon, Coughing. But they're not Galarian Coughings. Those are just like regular Coughing. Oh, snap! Don't tell me we can get a uh, dragon Pokemon early on like that. 
I wanted to see if we could go in the water, but we can't. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Right now I'm kind of just lost on where I'm supposed to be going. I thought I went the right way. Oh, maybe I am going the right way. You guys are just gonna see me collect this because I do want to upgrade my bike. Oh, there's a Halucha. Machokes. Another Corviknight. Honestly, who who catches and plays with like the Wobbuffets? That's kind of what I'm wondering. I don't know, maybe it's just me that doesn't see him as that cool. Oh snap, I could have saved up some watts and all that stuff, but let's... Dang it, I clicked too soon. Actually, let's check out that Rotom Rally. Push for the finish line while snacking the big balloons. Okay. I was like wondering where the next thing was. <laughs> to do. Oop. Messing that up. Oh, we got a TM from that. Okay, cool. got 184 watts. Okay, that kind of wasn't worth it. <laughs> so I feel like I can, without doing all that, I can just go to these uh, energy wells. Honestly, I'm thinking about replacing um, Dreadnought on the team. Okay, I battled. Wasn't really expecting that. I thought she had something for me. But let's go Breeder Chloe. Oh, she has an evolved form of uh, Score Bunny. Oh wow, and you're up to level. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yikes. It's either use a fire move and it not do that much against Carcoal, or using a fighting move and it's super effective. Carcoal has good physical defense, so it's, it's fine. And my defense rose even higher.
Dry Boots. I don't know how I feel about that name. <laughs> okay. Got two Pokemon leveled up. Dang, I didn't even see which one. I think it's a Drover? Something? Maybe it was a ground type? I don't know. Oh, it was a water type. Okay, even better. Tearful look. I don't know, that was kind of like a pointless move to use, in my opinion. I mean, I get you wanted to lower my attack, but it kind of didn't do much. Are you about to send out, uh... A thwack you now too. Corvus Squire can go. Or actually no, should have had um I should have had Toxic go out. Or Toxel. I would get Qfin on my team, but I don't need another Steel because Corvusquire is going to evolve and become the Steel Flying type. And I already have a Grass Pokemon that's bad against Fire. I don't need more Pokemon bad against Fire types. I barely even have a counter for Fire Pokemon yet, so I don't know if I want to use Dreadnought or if I want to just go ahead and get a different Water Pokemon. Which would probably be a Gyarados. Dang, she gave me 18,000. Oh, that's why you have all that money. Just in case there was anything there. Nope. I couldn't tell. Like, some of these Pokemon are too short to really be able to tell what they are, uh, what Pokemon they are. Ooh. Ooh, I almost ran into that. Oh, wait, there's a Rosa Red? I'd probably get my butt whooped. Ah, Gym Challenger, allow me to check your Gym Badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, and the Fire Badge. It was confirmed that you defeated the three leaders, including the leader of Motosilk. I wish you the best of luck in future battles. I was not expecting you. Oh, it's you. I doubt Pop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could be the champion in the night. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the league. Here, just look at the Gym Badges I already won. This guy is really conceited. Thank you, Challenger. I want to I want to say Bed or Betty, but it's Bead. I think. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Do your thing. Let's talk to this guy real quick. See what he's doing. Don't worry, if I do end up adding a different water Pokemon on the team, and it is Gyarados. Shoot, I don't, I even want a Milotic, actually. I don't know both of them I, I like a lot. I don't even know where to get a Feebas from, though. If I can get a Feebas, I'll definitely have Milotic on my team, just to have another special attacker.
Okay, I like the architecture for this. Alright, so we're dealing with... I thought we were going to deal with, like, rock or something. It looks like this might be, like, a dragon. Dragon area. Yes, heal him up, please. Four of away. I don't have anything to combat um, dragon types right now. At least that's super effective. I don't have an ice or a fairy type. Anybody want to trade? Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so we can come here in order to... Oh, wow, this is going to be clutch. I'm definitely going to get the Reaper Cloth and all that stuff to um, trade evolve certain Pokemon. Yeah, what items can I buy? Oops, I don't need that many. Oh, wow, I got three Premier Balls from that. I need to chill out on everything I'm buying. Anybody else just like when you have like a count of something, you always make sure it's just like multiples of 10? And what do you have? Oh, you have Dust Balls. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy 10 of those. Just because I like the look of the Dust Ball. And I'm probably going to regret that because I'm like, I'm at a new town, so there's probably going to be new clothes to, to pick up and wear. Oh, well, never mind, because I can just sell stuff. keep that fossil there. I'm not sure if I can use it later on or not. Okay, we're just going to start this cutscene. Uh -huh. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bede. I'm glad you haven't forgotten what it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me, it's for the future of the whole Gala region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too, someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit, it takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenge would be, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? I hope you were listening, Blades. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to Wishing Stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium, in fact. We should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Gala region gets its energy. I'm kind of thrown off by his clothes, no lie. And what is this? Oh, I thought that was like the sign for like this house or something. Yeah, probably could. Oh, she gave me a suit belt. Nice. Thanks, lady. Ah, this... Oh man, I just want to explore this town already. I think that's my biggest thing with these Pokemon games, is always exploring the town when you haven't been there before.
Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from the Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olina decides to give me another earful. <laughs> Blaze, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head towards Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Hmm. So we gotta head to the vault. Uh, hey there, thanks for rolling by. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's the Pokeball? The level ball, okay. That's actually going to be convenient to have when I plan on just catching all the Pokemon I passed up and ignored for the playthrough. Don't tell me it's new. No, it's still the same stuff. I don't get... Oh, it's just another Pokemon in here. Okay, so they want us to head towards the vault, but guys, I'm going to end the episode off here, I think. I don't believe anybody's going to talk to me when I head outside. Yeah, okay. So nobody's here to chat it up with me. That works out perfectly. So I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot and also keeps you guys updated on the Pokemon Sword playthrough that I'm doing. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.